हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एज यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस रिव्यू इज अबाउट मणिपाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एम आई टी मणिपाल एंड टू टॉक अबाउट इट्स प्लेसमेंट एंड द अदर डिटेल्स अबाउट द कोर्सेज सो मन इट्स मणिपाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इज पार्ट ऑफ मणिपाल अकेडमी ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन माहे विच इज द मेन यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एमिनेंस स्टेटस राइट विच इज द हाइएस्ट स्टैंडर्ड in terms of nrf ranking it is again the uh, sixth among university and it it's a nac a plus plus accredited institute so quite high so i will directly start with the btech courses right here and i'll talk about the courses offered so there are basically 21 btech programs which are offered including the different streams in computer science it electrical mechanical and chemical engineering so talking about the branches which are available here part of department of chemical you have two courses biotechnology and chemical engineering part of civil engineering department you have civil engineering btech then you have computer and communication engineering which is a branch mix of computer and electronics uh, field which is communication engineering and then they have computer science and engineering csc which is one of the most sought after branch next you can also study is a csc with specialization in artificial intelligence and machine learning and data science and engineering ds then there is a unique branch which is available here called computer science and financial technologies so basically if you are looking for financial startup companies your upi companies or the wallet companies right then you can study this branch also then information technology and the, again there is a unique branch called mathematics and computing which is in great demand so these are the combinations available from computer side now moving further you have biomedical engineering you have a cyber physical systems and triple e which is electrical and electronics engineering you have electrical department which has uh, branches like ece electronics and inst instrumentation engineering and there is a new branch called vlsi design and technology which is also in, in good in a future here then you talk about the mechanical engineering department so they have branches like aeronautical engineering automobile engineering industrial engineering and mechanical engineering and the mechatronics which is combination of mechanical and the electronics engineering now i'll provide details from the nrf which is regarding the total seats which are available in this course so you can see this is nrf uh, snapshot for manipal institute technology and it has got it got it has got 1880 seats in 2019-20 in next year the number of seats increased to 2040 and in 2022 the total number of seats were 2380 and in 23 20, 22 23 that it was 23 40 and it will be around 25 to 2600 seats in this year so this is as per the details provided so 860 seats were there in 20 now i'll directly jump to the placements part of it so first i'll cover the placement details of 22 23 batch as provided by the college and these are some of the companies visited it's a big list of companies so all good companies visit here but uh, this is a short you know snapshot of that so highest salary for 23 batch was 54.75 lakhs so if you compare last 3 years uh, uh, salaries like 21 passing batch 22 passing batch and 23 passing batch so maximum salaries have remained from 43 lakhs to 44 lakhs and last year it was 54.75 lakhs average salaries also increased from uh, 8.6 lakhs which was in 21 passing batch it increased to 10.49 lakhs in 22 and it increased to 12.5 lakhs 12.59 so this is average salary is not the median salary last row is the most important thing median salary has also shown a good increase so which you can see it increased from 7 lakhs to 7.6 lakhs and then to 8.5 lakhs so which shows a decent trend right compared to other players now also they have given the average ctc is not the median but it is the average of the top 50 offers best 50 offer students 36.4 lakhs top 100 offers 29.7 lakhs and the top 150 offers it was 26.3 lakhs and top 200 offers it was 24.11 lack so that also shows a decent trend in terms of higher salaries which you can expect here 
this is talking about the total number of companies which are visiting for different courses so you can see it covers all the uh, 326 companies visited total right in 2021 which increased to 352 companies and it is in 339 for last year so almost 330 350 to 350 companies are visiting here and if you talk specifically about the btech department so btech department uh, earlier you know around 203 companies visited then 251 and now it's 275 companies which participated in the btech placements which i'm covering here mostly in this video and the uh, claim by college which is about the percentage of students which get placed and i also show also show the nirf information but this is what is provided by college saying 75 percent placement was there up to 22 batch but in the last year in 2022 23 batch 92.9 percent placement was achieved you know which is also a decent improvement over the previous years since this is the you know, information which is provided for MIT, so uh, you know it which has campus in Manipal. It does not have Manipal University Jaipur. So Manipal University Jaipur is a different college and has a different NIRF PDF also. Now we'll jump to the most important part, which is the NIRF placement data, which is there for Manipal Institute of Technology. And this data is the most accurate because it is provided by the college for the approval and the accreditation purposes. So if you see in 21 passing batch, they said 2001 students were eligible to participate and out of 2000 students, 1009 students got placed. So that means it is just 50% placement. So placement trend was not good. Only 50% of students got placed and the median salary was 6.5 lakhs, right? And this is the data provided by college themselves, right? Through NIRF. Next year, if you see in uh, 22 passing batch, 1879 students were eligible that means total number of students would be 23 to 2400 and out of which 1879 were eligible on only again 1090 students get placed so you can see the number of students getting placed is 50 percent right and the median salary increased to 8 lakhs and if you see further right uh, which is uh, next year the number of eligible students further reduced to 1664 but the total number of students which uh, uh, would have participated is around you know 2000 plus right 2000 to 2300 and out of those 2300 students only 1136 of them got placed again the placement trend is showing 50 percent placement so though they said eligible student 92 percent got placed actual the nrf data shows that it is mostly into 50 60 percent range placement happens only decent thing is that the median salary increased to 8.88 lakhs which is now close to 9 lakhs in the last column also it shows the number of students which selected for higher studies so 281 students selected for higher studies so one important point is that you should take only the branches which are in the top notch demand like computer computer related branches ec triple e and mechanical and low those top branches you should not go for uh, core branches which are in lesser demand so your placement chances will be quite low so that's all i update on a placement on the manipal thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel i will be covering all the other important deemed universities and top-notch institutes in India as well. Thank you. Take care and bye.